this is Lori from Siegel Solutions. And today I want to show you how to create and use unscheduled transactions in the recurring transactions feature to have templates within QuickBooks for easy access in terms of creating certain journal entries like payroll that's the same entries each month with different figures or a service that you offer for an invoice that you have a templated invoice that you can just change the customer name and be able to send it quickly. So to do this, I want to go to recurring transactions. And as you see, the ones that are in here now are scheduled. We're actually going to create an unscheduled one. We're going to just go to the new, and I'm going to say for this one, journal entry. I'll do another one as an invoice in a moment. I'm just going to call this payroll. But instead of saying scheduled, I'm going to say unscheduled. So there's no reminders, there's no dates. And I'll just put in what the journal entry is going to look like. So we have salaries. And our total salary is, I say, $10,000. And we have our taxes. $2,000. And this all goes out on one direct deposit from our checking account. We can have different line items. Let's say it's, it was, you know, $9,500 for direct deposit. And also from the checking account, the balance is taxes. Something like that. And I'm going to save the template. So now if I'm ready, let me go back to my dashboard, and I'm ready to post payroll from a different payroll system. So I have the payroll reports. And I'll go to transactions, recurring transactions. And you see this one, instead of saying as it says use. So I can use it, put in the date of the payroll, change the amounts. I'm just going to 988. This was the direct deposit system, 531.86. Just doing some quick math here. Match your balance. And I can save it. It's not going to change the template, but it's going to just post this. And the seventh right into our checking account. So now if I go to our chart of accounts and look at our checking account, we see those that journal entry right there and it will also be on our PL. The other thing we can do for recurring transactions is to do this for an invoice. So to make it easy, I can just go to an invoice and let's say we create an invoice for a customer and say, I keep creating this type of invoice over and over again for cool cars. For cars. This is a service that we always offer, and it's a templated one. Then I can go to the bottom and just say, make recurring. This is sprinkler sale. And I love that there's a spell check in here. Changing this to unscheduled. We can leave the customer in here, but it really doesn't matter because I'm going to save the template. And then when I use it, once again, back to transactions, recurring transactions, and I'm going to go to my sprinkler sale, use this, change it to the new customer that I just created for Duke's baseball camp. It's going to change all the information. And then I can actually say, oh, they're actually getting 12 of these. And for seed, it's a lot, Assad, it's a big area, it's 100. And we have that now all set. I could send it or save it. So I can click to send it. It is giving me a warning about inventory. I'm not going to worry about that. It does not like that. But as you see, we can save it and have it there. And it's just a quick way to create transactions 
from a template. I hope that helps. Once again, I'm Lori Swartz with Siegel Solutions.